I just want to quickly talk about angels and demons. Um, In the last couple of weeks, yes, we've been blessed, majorly blessed. But we've also experienced a lot of... um, A lot of spiritual aspects in terms of meeting angels and demons. And it's been so strange to say the least but you figure if you're going to meet one you're definitely going to meet the other I'll give you an example Um, one of the angels that we met was uh, a gentleman that saw us walking to the other part of town recognized me because I had spoken to him before and he pulled off to the side of the road and he came up to me and you can just sense that he had a good spirit you know um, kind spirit gentle spirit and um, he pulled off to the side and he came up to us as we were walking by and he said i've seen you guys before and then he pointed to me and said i remember talking with you and i had my dog and i saw your your little cat and i didn't have anything with me at the time but i wanted to give you something so i don't want to presume to know what's going on in your situation i don't want to judge but i wanted to give you some money maybe you could use it for you know your cat and that was a major blessing that was a huge blessing because we needed to get litter anyways for her. <laughs> I usually pick it up from the dollar store, but because we were on the other side of town, there was no dollar store over there, so it would have been more expensive for us. And we were limited on funds regardless. Um, and then another another situation where I met like a demon. Um, I was at Target. Was it? Target. We went to we went to um, Goodwill early in the morning after we left the hotel. We were in that area. We decided to go to the Goodwill so that we can pick up some jackets, but the Goodwill was closed, so I naturally set up, you know, an area by the sun on the grass for Twitch and I, and I had a collar and a leash trying to um, see if she would take to it because I really want her to come out of her crate. Uh, Side note, she didn't take to it. She was really scared. So I just put it off to the side for right now. But as I was sitting there with her on the grass, minding my own business, this lady pulls up in the parking lot, noticeably pulled up, pulls out her phone and starts recording me. I mean, if that's not a demonic spirit, I don't know what is. She just starts recording me and I turn to my husband and I told him, hey, I think that lady over there is recording us. And uh, she continued recording and he said, oh, she's recording a video. Let's go. And so we got up and we left. And then as soon as she realized that we noticed that she was recording a video, she uh, turned the car back on and moved her car to the front part of the store of the Goodwill. It's like these certain situations that we've been coming across. On one hand, we meet angels. We meet gentle spirits, beautiful spirits, you know, that give us blessings. And other times we just meet demons. And this is how I know that it's a spiritual battle, that we're on the right path because of this this happening to us consistently. Another situation, while we were walking, um, while after we left the Goodwill, we didn't get a chance to go in. We just were freaked out. So we left the Goodwill because she was recording us and we were heading, the Goodwill was close to a Walmart. The reason why we didn't say at the Walmart is because there's no grass, grassy patch areas where we can sit down and just enjoy the sun. So we were heading towards Walmart and this gentleman comes up to us and he says, hey man, you know, I know you guys look like you're down in the dumps and I just wanted to give you uh, 
a little bit of something. I don't have very much. And he get, handed up my husband some money. And then he proceeded to go forward and say, no, how, what's going on? How come you guys are not like in a shelter or like, you know, he, he continued to like press on. And, you know, my husband explained to him that the shelter is around here. They don't accept pets and it's a deal breaker for us. And he said, well, you know, it's a pet compared to you, you know, which one is more valuable. And I was just taken, taken aback by it because of his response. Um, and I was thinking, wow, I used to be that kind of person. I never grew up with pets. And to, to just say to get rid of them is um you know it's heartbreaking because they're part of your family they're part of you anyways at that point i was like okay so is it a blessing is it an actual blessing from abba yahuwah or is it just a demonic thing because i've i've always felt that a blessing a real blessing comes from a person's heart and they feel led to give you you know, without without strings attached, without asking questions, without prying, you know, they just, they feel led. And if they ask questions, it's very, you know, uh, simple questions just to understand, you know, how we got into the situation and just to be understanding and possibly give advice if there is any advice. But this guy, just this guy was just... I was like, unbelievable. We we took the money, but I told my husband, I said, the next time that happens, we just give the money back because that money that he gave to us was going to be used for all three of us, not just the two of us, you know? It's it's horrible. It's horrible, these, these certain things that keep happening. This is why I keep telling you guys this is a spiritual battle. This is not one to play around with. This is a spiritual battle, and you can clearly see it. You can clearly see it when I tell you about these experiences, you know. And so what I've been doing now, uh, yesterday I was at the Target and apparently there was a customer. People passed by and they kind of seem like snooty, not to be judgmental or anything, but they're very snooty. They put up their nose towards me because I'm sitting on the grass and I have a shopping cart full of our stuff. Well, what do you expect, you know? We don't we don't have any place to go. And we're just sitting on the grass, minding our own business. Far away from the store, far away from all the cars, far away from the parking lot with the cars. You know, minding our own business, just hanging out, enjoying the sun, enjoying the weather. And, um, well, this gentleman comes up to me and he starts talking to me. And I felt... It was kind of strange because he was like an older gentleman and I'm not one to judge older people. I worked with the elderly, but I kept saying, oh, yeah, we're, we're just doing uh, we're just doing our Heavenly Father's work. And, you know, we're just seeing where he's going to lead us. And he just kept like prying on on certain things. And I kind of tried to keep it like to a bare minimum. And the weird thing is, when he left, it was like he disappeared around the corner. And I don't know what happened to him. But regardless, when I would talk about our Heavenly Father, he would ignore it. And it was just a regular person, I think. Um, But his spiritual, the, the spirit that I got afterwards, I realized was actually negative. He was talking about how he was homeless too, and how he was he would be complaining and yada yada yada. Um, so, what I've been doing now, every time I meet anyone, anyone, anytime I go anywhere, I just automatically rebuke any negative spirits, any negative, negative uh, spirits, negative uh, feelings, anything negative that does not serve me. I rebuke it in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, and it's been helping um, a bit. You know, you have to believe it too. You can't just rebuke it and not believe it. You have to actually believe that you you rebuked um, these things. Even even if I hear music, secular music, in like quick trip, they always have music on, 
where people are passing by, they're in a gas station, so they're always going by and blasting their music, I rebuke it. It's tiring, but it has to be done because I don't want that stuff to be attached to me. And as long as I'm around, I'm not allowing it to attach to me. I will rebuke it in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Um, so there's just a little snippet of the feelings and the experiences that we've had with angels and demons because they do exist. I'm telling you, they do exist. You might not recognize them right away, but they do exist. And Hasatan, Satan, was testing my husband because of that, that same exact time that my husband went for the interview, that was when I met that man. And Satan was trying to get to both of us at the same time to question him, to make him like doubt his decisions and all this other stuff. So, and kind of caused a little rift between the two of us, but you know, we overcame it and see where Abba Yahuwah continues to take us um, if He's willing for us to be together. Um, anyways, you know, it just this is a spiritual battle, and everywhere you go, you will be contact with the spiritual realm don't ever forget that and you need to keep your spiritual armor on at all times